Welcome to Liberation Prayer Ministry, the home of signs and wonders. We are glad to have you join us today. Stay blessed as you fellowship with us. Speak your word to us at this hour. Cause the spirit of favor to radiate and penetrate the life of every one of us tonight. Esteem the feet and the mind of your people that are not yet at this time. And add a multitude on the prayer line to your glory and to your honor in the name of Jesus. At the end of tonight's meeting, let your name be glorified. Jesus will say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Tonight, because of our time, what are we looking into? I am lifted by favor. Somebody say, I'm lifted by favor. I'm lifted by favor. I know that your voice can be louder than that. I want you to say it. Let them hear in the kingdom of darkness that tonight you are lifted by favor. I am lifted by favor. Glory be to Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Esther 2.15 and I'll read 15 and 17. When the turn came for Esther, the daughter of Abihai, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as a daughter to go into the king, she requested nothing but what Agai, the king in it, the custodian of the woman advised. And Esther obtained favor in sight of all who saw her. So what happened in 17? The king loved Esther more than all other women. She obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Now, she obtained grace and favor in the sight of the king more than all the virgins. And he set a royal crown upon her. It means that she was lifted by the virtue of the favor that she lost. So favor is the state of being light. Can also be say receiving kindness, commendation, approval, you know. But favor of God in the life of a man cannot be compared to anything due to his multifaceted nature of function. It cannot be compared with anything because of these extraordinary functions in the life of a man. So finding favor before God will always make man to favor you. Bible says in the book of Luke 2.52 that Jesus grew up in wisdom, in stature, and in favor before God. Then, man, it has to be before God. Bible says in the book of Proverbs 3.4 Thou shalt find favor and good understanding before God. Amen. So, the most important thing in life is that we should find favor before God. And when you find favor before God, the favor of God will compel men to favor us. Hallelujah. There is no way God will favor you. A man will dishonor you. There is no way that you carry favor of God on your head. And any man will hate on you. When the man is said to die, you carry the favor of God upon you. And any man should treat you like, like an entity. So run elder skelter for men's favor is a total waste of time. God's favor man man's favor. Running elder skelter for man's favor is what is a waste of time. Secure God's favor and men will be compelled to favor you. What are the roles of God's favor in the life of a man? Number one, God's favor will establish man no matter where you are. Psalms 90 verse 17. He says, Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hand. Yet, establish the work of our hand. When you get to another version, it said that let the beauty, delightfulness, and favor of the Lord be upon us and establish the work of our hand. It means that it's not talking about location. So God's favor cannot be limited by the location. It doesn't matter where you are. When you get God's favor, you be supernaturally established. Number two, God's favor is the lifter of man. Number one, God's favor will establish man. Number two, God's favor is the lifter of man. Genesis 39. Joseph was even in the prison. No, when he was sold to the house of Potiphar, when you get to four, 
So Joseph find favor 39 4 Genesis. So Joseph find favor in the sight, the sight, sight of Potiphar and serving. Then he made him overseer of his house. And all that he had, he put under his authority. Favor of God lifted this man, lifted him up. When he got to six, he said, Thomas, he left all he had in Joseph's hand, and he did not know what had except for the bread which he ate. He left all his hand have in the hand of Joseph. When favor steps in, lifting steps in. Can I have a witness to that? When favor steps in, lifting steps in. And I declare and declare to everyone under the sound of my voice. The favor that will lift you to the level that nobody has been before in your generation. The God of heaven is released upon you now. Amen. So favor puts you in charge at all times. But the Lord was with Joseph, showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of prison. While he got to the prison, he was still in charge. Why? Because favor of the Lord followed him from his father's house to Potiphar's house. Favor did not leave. Favor still followed the guy into the prison. Favor. Come on, Shagada. There is a spirit of favor that operate in the life of a man. So it doesn't matter what you are going through. All I want you to know tonight is that the spirit of favor is upon you. Hallelujah. Number three, God's favor command help in strange places and from people of authority. When you find yourself in a strange land, God's favor, it command help from you, from people that you don't know at all, from authority that you know they are not even linked to. Isaiah 60 verse 10. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody get it blessed tonight. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60 verse 10. He said, The sons of foreigners shall build your wall, and the king shall minister to you. Sons of foreigners shall build your wall. When you get to Isaiah 61 verse 5, I love this scripture. He said, The strangers shall stand and feed your flock. Strangers shall feed your flock, and the sons of foreigners shall be your plowmen and your vine dresser. People that you don't know at all, they will be running elta skelter so that you can be comforted. That's favor. So favor will give you what you are not qualified for. Somebody, that kind of favor is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. See, let me tell you something. If you look at your life very well, and everything that you like have in your life are the things that you work and work for. There is no trace of favor in you. But when you are looking into your life. And you see that ah, there are some things I never worked for, but God gave me. That is what is called favor. I pray in the name of Jesus. If you are under the side of my voice and you cannot trace anything in your life to God's favor, tonight the God of heaven is bringing unusual dimension of favor upon you. God's favor qualify you for what you are not qualified for. The job that you are not qualified for, he qualifies you for it. The position that you are not qualified for. The favor we just bring you there. Favor. I worked in a place and within three weeks. How many weeks? I was made the head, I was made the head of department. In three weeks. I, in three weeks I resume work. I was made the head of department. Three weeks. When favor speak, they give you what your qualification cannot attain. Let's go ahead because of our time. Number four. Favor exempt you from evil. You can't carry God ever upon your life and run into evil. Because favor will divert any evil coming your way. Favor. If you can't carry favor and run into evil, it diverts evil away from you. You are the carrier of God's favor because God will jealously guide them that he has favored. Now, Isaiah 49, he said, In an acceptable time I've heard you, and in the day of salvation I've helped you. I will preserve you and give you as a covenant to the people. I will preserve you. God is telling somebody tonight, I will preserve you. Amen. See what Bible says in the book of Psalm 34 verse 4. I sought the Lord, he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. He delivered me from all my evil. Why? Because I'm a carrier of divine favor. Number five. God's favor command impossibilities in the life of a man. How do I know that? Luke, when you get to the book of Luke 130, God's favor commands impossibility. Things that people say that is not possible. Keep quiet, that thing is not possible. 
But because you carry favor now, favor go to the source of impability and change the hand. It turned things around. Luke 1, 30. He said, Then the angel said to Mary, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And what has never happened before in the history of man happened. Why? Because favor Mary. He overturns the possibility. What is that thing that they say that is not possible in your life? What are you thinking that it is mentally not possible? When favor steps in, impossibility has to disappear. Because God's favor does not work with men theory. Number six, God's favor brings man to limelight. This, this young man called Joseph, the guy was in the prison, Genesis 41, but there is a favor upon him. The favor of the Lord caused Pharaoh to have a dream that no magician in the land can interpret the dream. When favor worked, favor worked like fire. It taught all the magicians to dumb. It made them to be dumb. Why? Because somebody has to rise in destiny. So you can't carry God's favor upon your destiny. A situation of this world will keep you in the corner. Now let us read something. Everybody listen to me. God's favor is too loud to be hidden. God's favor is too loud to be hidden. When you carry favor, you carry it. It's too loud to be hidden. You can't carry favor and people ignore you. Can you see why you have to pray for favor tonight? You can't carry favor and people should just walk past you like that. Hey, favor we call them. Hey, even when you are not talking, the spirit of favor will drag them by the hand. Yeah. Can't, didn't you know this man that you have to help him? Don't seek for men's favor. Seek for God's favor and the favor of God will compel men. And finally, God's favor qualifies you for unusual anointing. In the lineage of in the Jewish lineage, you can't go and anoint a younger brother for a kingly role when the older brother is in. Now, in the book of 1 Samuel, saying, one and apple in the in the in the family of Jesse, David couldn't speak for himself. This boy was at the back of the bush, taking care of the sheep, taking care of the cow, cattle. So we can likely David to even the full army. He's a headsman, fighting lion and bear. Why? They want those ones that look like a king. Area. Those ones that look like a king. They are inside the house. They are the ones that they are eating fries, eating chicken, Popeyes, lying down in bed, waking up at their time. And even Samuel, as precise as his ministry was in his days, he was about to anoint a wrong person. But favor said no. That they want to be anointed as the back of the bush. Favor qualifies you for anointing. When you carry God's favor, the anointing of the Lord rests on you. And what happened on that day? Samuel says that, ah, I know that this anointing has to be poured upon somebody in this house. But why I don't know and who this person is, I know that the people that stood before me, the seven sons, none of them look like anything that can pour this anointing upon. Jesse! Do you have anyone in your family? He said, I have this young one. He's a rudy boy. He's at the back of the bush. Send for him. Till he comes, nobody will sit down. Oh, Shagada. Nobody. Get the very way. Nobody will sit down. You don't need to be seeking for respect. Seek for favor. And favor will bring respect upon you. Same well, the prophet couldn't sit down. His father could not sit down. Everybody had to be on their feet. And this young man came from the bush. And as he came, the Lord told Samuel, That is my king. Pour the oil upon him. And then he said that, that he, poured, he anointed me in the presence of my enemies. And my cup run over. Why? Because I carry divine favor upon me. Somebody lift up your voice tonight and say, God tonight, anoint me with divine favor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What does we the anointing do? The anointing that favor brings upon you will now be unlocking doors for you. The anointing will be breaking chains of the wicked. The anointing will be destroying the evil assignment that will be done over you. Why? Because favor qualified you for the anointing. First of all, time. What are the four ways to assess God's favor? Number one, be born again. God's favor cannot come upon a sinner 
be born again. Number two, serving God qualifies you for God's favor. I've always been telling us, serving God qualifies us for God's favor. Psalms 102, verse 13 and 14. I'm taking my time to teach us about favor. The prayer is just few prayer points. But I want you to understand it very well so that you can pray with much understanding. Psalms 102, verses 13, 14. All of us, we are conversant with this scripture. Thou shall arise and have mercy on Zion. For the time to has come. Yes, the time has come. Why? Because your servant takes pleasures in a stone. He takes pleasure in the work of God. And he shows favor to us. When you are serving God, God repays you back with favor. Number three, helping the needy. Helping the needy qualifies you for God's favor. And number four, because of our time, praying for the kingdom of God. Praying for the church of God. Praying for righteousness, praying for others qualifies you for favor. Praying for the kingdom of God. Matthew 63, seek ye first the kingdom of God and righteousness, any other thing shall be added unto you. But those other things are what favor brings upon you. Somebody that is blessed tonight, lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you for this word. If the word make any impact in your life, lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you. For this word, I appreciate this good God. Lord, I've come to say thank you, God, for this word, oh God. Father, I give you all the praise. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. If you honor the sound of my voice tonight and know that you don't have Jesus, or probably you don't, you lost your relationship with Him. Tonight is an opportunity for you to reconcile with Jesus because there cannot be a favor for a sinner. I, I can't guarantee God's favor upon a sinner, but I can guarantee God's favor upon the one that are walking according to the will and the commandment of God. If you honor the sound of my voice, I want to. Return back to Jesus. Probably you want to dedicate your life to Him. Place your right hand on your chest and say after me, Lord Jesus, I've come to you tonight. I know I'm a sinner, but I believe you died for me. And at the third day, you rose again. Forgive me my sins and unrighteousness. Keep me safe from falling into sin anymore. Let your blood wash my sins away. Thank you, Father. Now I am born again. I am of the Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. To everyone that says this prayer, I decree and declare that the grace of the Lord will keep you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are ready, remember all the rules of God's favor in the life of a man. You should, that one should be a kind of a trigger for you in the prayer meeting tonight. Let your voice be the loudest on the prayer line tonight. Let it be louder than mine. Why? Because you have to pray favor upon your head. You have to pray favor into your family. You have to pray favor into your future. Pray favor upon your children tonight. Let your voice be heard in heaven. Let your prayer come from the, your belly tonight. And I see God answering us speedily in the name of Jesus. I want somebody to lift her voice and say, Father, I thank you for the diverse favor I've enjoyed in the time past. Hey, if you have enjoyed God's favor in time, I'd like you to lift up your voice and say, Father, I will say thank you tonight uh, for the diverse oh, favor I've enjoyed in the time past. Uh, for the day that you don't qualify for what you gave me. For the diverse favor that you have brought my way. Uh, somebody lift up your voice and give me the preacher. Reke no mo shama da yano se Father, I want to say thank you tonight uh, for the diverse favor that I've enjoyed. Uh, in the time past, oh God, Lord, I said thank you, God, for the diverse favor that we joined in the time past. Lift up your voice, somebody, and give God all the praise for the diverse favor that we joined in the time past, oh God. Lord, I just want to say thank you, God, in Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Somebody, it doesn't matter the level of favor that you have enjoyed in the time past. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you because my destiny is going to higher dimension of favor. 
my destiny is going to a new chapter of favor before the Lord. It doesn't matter the level of the favor that you have enjoyed before, but thank God because God is taking you into another dimension of favor. I mean, favor that holder than you, favor that bigger than you. Lift up your voice, somebody on the prayer line. Give God all the thanks in mind. Father, I've come to say thank you, God, because you have taken my destiny into a higher dimension of favor. Father, I've come to say thank you tonight, oh God, because you are taking my destiny into a higher dimension of favor. Lord, I've come to say thank you. Spirit of the Lord, I give you all the praise because you are taking my destiny into a higher dimension of favor. My ministry is going into a higher dimension of favor. Blessed be your name, oh God. In Jesus, precious name, we are afraid. I want somebody to pray to God. Lord, every, listen, every bad habit inside of me, every addiction inside of me that is corrupting your favor, by your mercy, deliver me tonight. Maybe your own is anger. Maybe your own is alcohol. Maybe your own is fornication. Maybe your own is adultery. Or so ever it look like. I want you to cry before the Lord. Maybe your own is lies. Lord, every devilish habit, every addiction that is corrupting your favor of me, by your mercy, deliver me tonight. Forgive me tonight and deliver me. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Father, I am we are praying. I want you to see every year there is always a list of people that God wants to favor. I want you to cry. Somebody cry this, pray this prayer very well. Oh. Hey, Lord, enlist me for divine favor in the year 2021. Enlist my also. Add my name to the list of people that you want to favor in this year. Let me make the list. Enlist me. Here to the list for divine favor. Lift up your voice, somebody. Lift up your voice, somebody. Maro Shaba. Magate Koto Diado Shaba. Lord, and list them my household. And to the list for divine favor. In the year 2021. In the name of Jesus. Palosha. Palakatia. Lebre. Lebre do so Koto Bagadia. In Brage. Lekedia. Lord, I pray God. And list me, O God. For divine favor. Let my name be on the list of divine favor. In the year. 2021, the Bosha, in Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Hallelujah. I want you to cry to God. Lord, connect me with people that carry my favor in this year. Bible says, and Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in faith before God. And man, Samuel, in the book of First Samuel, Bible says Samuel was growing in wisdom, in stature, and in favor before God and men. And Bible now says in the book of Proverbs 3 verse 4, that you shall find favor and good understanding before God and man. I want you to cry before the Lord tonight. Lord, people that carries my favor in this year 2021, connect me, O God, ah, with people that carry my favor. See, people that carry your favor, when you meet them, they are compared to favor. I want you to cry to God. Lord, connect your God with people that carry my favor. Lift up your voice. Marado Shapala. Lebredeke Tula Gredo Saga. Zagadia. Zagadia. Lord, connect your God with people that carry my favor. In this year 2021, in the name of Jesus, connect your God with people that carry my favor. In the year 2021, in the name of Jesus, connect your God with people that carry my favor. In the year 2021, mighty God, connect your God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, precious name, we are praying. I want you to cry to God that the doors that have been shut against my household, against me, let's save our opponents in this year 2021. See, your immigration door that have been closed against you, your career door, ministerial door, door, great business door. 
the doors that have been shut against me and my generation. Let favor open it this year. The doors have been knocking that have refused to open. Lift up your voice, somebody. The door that will shut against me and my destiny. The door of new high go the doors of glory, the doors of honor, the door of power. That have been closed against me. All is why. Say, let favor of the Lord open it, O God. In the name of Jesus, let favor. Let it open it, O God. In the name of Jesus, let favor. Let it open it, let's put it, O God. In Jesus' precious name, we are free. I want somebody to cry to God Lord by divine favor Let error for me From strange places Amen. You know what I mean When people that you don't even know At least you have been hearing testimony That people get a job where they did not apply That they just call them have you, work with, have you worked in a company That your boss will just speak interest in you Your boss They did not bore you and your boss the same house For people that are in America You and your boss They are not even from the same nationality God. Let I share the wonders of God. Let favor come from me from strange places. Let help by divine favor. Let help come from me from places I never think about. From places I've never been in my life. From places I've not even think about. Let by your divine favor. Ah, let me tell you something. Joseph did not go Potiphar from anywhere. Praise God. The day that Pharaoh met Joseph was the same day that Joseph was coronated. He has never met Pharaoh before in his whole life. He has never known Potiphar. He was supposed to be a slave. But when he was king, help comes in from strange places. Places that you don't know anything about. I want you to pray to God. Jekaduskaparagadosidiada. Lord, by the first thing, let them come to me from strange places. Let people that don't know yourself, let them come together to help me. People that they don't know each other, let them come together to help me. Lift up your voice, somebody. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Sabora. Let them come from you, God. From strange places, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let them come. Let them come from you, God. From strange places, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let them come. Let them come from me. From strange places, oh God. Let them come from you, God. From strange places, oh God, Jesus, let help come from me. From strange places, oh God, in Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. I decree and declare to everyone under the sound of my voice tonight that God of heaven will compel all men to favor you in this year. God of heaven, we compel all men, hey, the shada, both white, both black, from all nationality, all nations, hey, shada, daba, to favor your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray to God. We have like six prayer points more to go. Lord, let favor speak for me when I'm voiceless. Let favor speak for me wherever I am voiceless, where I cannot reach, where my feet cannot get to. Let favor speak for me wherever I'm voiceless. Oh God, lift up your voice. Let favor speak for me where I am voiceless and live. Maroche Bele, Keluando, Keluanda Gatile, Pelagada, Pelagado Shaba, Ragade, Ragade, Ragada, Ragado Saka, and Brandos Cotoliano Segre. Let favor speak for me where I'm voiceless, oh God. Let favor speak for me where I'm voiceless, oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. How many minutes more do we have? Five minutes. God of heaven. Ah, can you borrow me extra five minutes from your time? Yes, sir. I want you to cry to God. See, you don't know where they are making decisions over your life. But I want you to cry to God. By divine favor, I pass any satanic decision against me and my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2021 and beyond. By divine favor, 
I reverse every satanic decision in case me and my family. You stop your voice by divine favor. I reverse every satanic decision against me. And my household in the year 2021. Every satanic decision against me and my household in the name of Jesus. I reverse God. Rekede wo shaba shaba lebrando kotoriado shaba in Jesus precious name we are free. Want you to take this prayer. See, want to cry to God to everybody. The arrow of impossibility that been shot against me. Let your favor melt it. See, when impossibility meets favor, impossibility has to clear. Up. They will tell you that there is this thing is not possible. But when favor come into place. When favor comes into place, it reverses every impossibility. I want you to cry to God. Every hour of impossibility that be sent upon my destiny. Let the favor of the Lord terminate it tonight. Let favor of the Lord melt it off tonight. Lift up your voice, somebody. Lift up your voice. Hour of impossibility. Hour of impossibility. In the area of fruitfulness. Hour of impossibility. In marital settlement. Every hour of impossibility. In the area of your business. Hour of impossibility. Let favor melt it tonight. Let the favor of the Lord swallow it up tonight. Every hour of impossibility that may set upon my destiny. Let the favor of the Lord let it swallow it up tonight. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Pray to God. The power corrupting God's favor upon my life. Come on, that divine judgment. Can everybody hear me? What do I mean by that? Some people you get to that interview, they will not tell you that there is no way now. As in, the failure at the point of breakthrough. That's what that means. And those power, they use the spirit of hatred. I want you to pray to God. This prayer is very, very important. Because it causes a lot of setback and stagnation in life. It makes men stumble. What thing, what God said we just do for you. But the power has corrupted that favor. You just be like, ah. It will look like you are praying, but there is no answer. Come be sure of the Somebody tear your mind apart tonight. Every force is from the pit of hell. Corrupting the favor of God upon my destiny. Come on that divine judgment tonight. Let the blood of Jesus destroy you tonight. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Marado Shapaka Tiade Kermuskaba. Every power corrupting the favor of God upon my life. Come on that divine judgment tonight. In the name of Jesus, come on the divine judgment tonight. The power corrupting the favor of God upon my life. Come on that divine judgment of God. The power corrupting and polluting the favor of God upon my life. Come on, the divine judgment tonight. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Like three more prayer points, and we are done. See, it says that let your, your favor be upon us, that the beauty and the favor of the Lord be upon us. Psalms 90, verse 17. That He may establish the works of our hand. And one of the things that told us that the favor of God does is to establish a man. But how did that happen? It happened by the spirit of favor. I want you to cry to God. Let the spirit of favor rest on me. The spirit that generates favor every time. Let it come okay. upon me. So that every year that you go, you know that we are in the world of spirits. You see, everything that you see in the physical is controlled spiritually. Am I right? Yes, sir. When the spirit of, the, of favor is born, it is not you that you are talking anymore. It is the spirit that talks. I want you to cry to God. The spirit give you divine utterances. The spirit of favor cover you with love. Have you ever seen the kind of thing that people will just walk up to you or walk up to somebody and just like, I don't just know, I just like you. Oh, yeah. Do I have a witness online? Uh, and you are with yes, any perfection. So it is the spirit of favor. It's not anything. And at that point, the person is ready for anything for you. Somebody cry to God. The spirit oh, that generates favor. Let it come upon me. The spirit that generates favor at every time. Rest upon me. Lift up your voice. In my journey in life, the spirit that generates favor. Let it rest upon me, Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, the spirit that generates favor, let it rest upon me, O oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. I want you to get your bottle of anointing oil, everybody. Let us go into the anointing straight off because of our time. I decree and declare upon everyone under the sound of my voice that by divine favor, hey, in this year 2021, the Lord will give you unusual speed and acceleration. In this year 2021, you shall not be on the same spot. By divine favor, you are moving forward. I decree by divine favor, in this year 2021, you are having unusual speed and acceleration and you are moving forward. I declare and declare upon every oil that are lifted up before the Lord tonight. I turn this oil to the oil of favor. As your people place it upon their head, the mark of favor will be upon them. I like you to anoint yourself and decree that by this oil, I declare anointing for favor. Let it rest upon me. Anoint yourself and begin to declare anointing for favor. Let the oil of favor rest upon me. Let it rest upon me, O God. Let the mark of favor be upon me, O God. Let the oil of favor be upon me, O God. Let the mark of favor be upon me, O God. Favor, 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 favor. Rabagadu, shabagaria, shabagaria, de lezeke to lagado saga, saga de los kudabu lagada. Ragadu saba, eres que de yado, que de yado, que de yado saga, saga de abu kuti valere, reko kuti arama. Father, we say thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. I decree and declare from now on, every one of us, we have gone into favor entity in the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift up your voice and appreciate God because you have heard us tonight. Celebrate this good God. Father, we say thank you tonight. You alone are worthy to be praised. Lord, we give you all the praise of God for the flow of the spirit of favor. Lord, we say thank you. We are grateful, God. Blessed be your holy name, O God. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. As we have declared before the Lord tonight, so shall he do for us in Jesus' name. This is Liberation Prayer Ministries, the home of signs and wonders. If you have been blessed by this message, please share with your friends and family. And also, don't forget to send us your testimonies through info at liberationprayerministries.com. Once again, that email address is info at liberationprayerministries.com. We look forward to hearing from you. We would also like to stay connected with you through our various social media platforms. You can connect with us via Facebook at Liberation Prayer Ministries or on Instagram at Liberation Prayer Ministries. You will not know shame. Amen. Until next time, family, remain blessed.